Hey guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little firefly. So today's drawing is very simple and to begin we're just going to draw out our firefly's face. So come towards the center of your paper and begin to draw out an oval for the first eye. And then just across the center here we'll draw a curve facing the top for the first highlight and then a small heart underneath that. You can go ahead and shade in the rest of your eye. For the second side, I'm going to come towards the left and I'm going to draw an oval again. And I'm going to just have the top of this oval slightly closer to the top of our first eye so that they almost look like they're pointing at each other. Draw in your highlights and then go ahead and shade in the rest of the eye. Let's make our firefly just extra happy. So to do that, come in between the eyes and just draw out a small straight line from one eye to the other, and then make a nice big U underneath that. So his mouth is open, we'll draw a little curve inside, and then just shade in the top corner, and there's his little tongue. We want our firefly to have some nice buggy eyes, so to draw in the head, I'm going to start just along the inside edge of my eye and draw a curve across the top and touching over on the second side, and then we'll come around and do the same thing on the bottom. So you can see that the outside edges of the eyes are just a little bit past the edge of the face. Draw cheeks by drawing curves underneath the eyes and connecting to the outside edge of the head. To create the illusion that we're sort of looking downwards at our firefly, we'll draw the antenna just beneath the top line of his head, drawing curved lines up towards the top of the page and adding little circles. I'm going to add in some little arms, so coming just underneath the head, draw a little line down with a hook and then connect it back up. So once again, a little line down, this time hooking the other way and connecting back to the bottom of the head. To draw out the segments of our firefly's body, I'm going to just be drawing a series of curves moving up towards the top of the page. So starting just inside the outer edge of the face, we'll curve all the way around the top of the head and bring it back down to meet on the right. So that's our first segment. For the second one, I'm going to create a dotted line here because I want to sort of indicate that we can see the body under the wings and I'm using a marker. You can just draw a smooth line if you're using pencil. And we're gonna repeat the same step. So you're just drawing a second curve and each time you're just gonna start a little bit inside the outer edge of the curve beneath it. Now we can draw wings here by starting or coming towards the center of this second segment. And you're going to draw a big teardrop shape out towards the left side of your page so that the point of the teardrop is in towards the center of the body and the rounded part is reaching towards the outside edges of your page. Repeat for the second wing over on the right. So you can see I have sort of those little dotted lines of the body that are just underneath the wings. For the third segment, anywhere that's under the wing, I'm gonna keep dotted. Then I'm just going to smooth out my line. So there's our third curve. And then finally, for the last curve, I'm just gonna have it a little bit leaning towards the left. So you're gonna create a nice big curve here and just have it connect somewhere back to that third body segment. And we'll add some little glow lights. So these are just little lights, like as if you're drawing little sun rays just kind of going around that last little body segment. And now it's time to give our firefly something to hold on to in those little hands. So start out by drawing a nice big flower stem, letting one end come out from the side of one hand, curving across the little center there, and then out the other side. For the petals, you can start at the top of, or the bottom I guess, of your curved stem here and we'll draw out an almond shape petal. So point it at the bottom and the top. My first two are going to be facing in opposite directions and then I'm going to just have them all kind of meet right at that center point or the very end of my stem. I'm going to start layering 
by drawing similar shapes, but I'm just gonna have them all connect back towards center. So they're all pointed at the top and you can just keep layering these flower petals. I wouldn't worry too much about how perfectly symmetrical they are or straight, it's just a little whimsical flower. And then you can add some little leaves just underneath the top of your flower here, just little triangular shapes pointing back up towards your firefly. And that is our cute little firefly, guys. Thanks so much for drawing with me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, for another Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook, keep making art and keep smiling.